considering bringing in a law to break end-to-end -end encryption, which would seriously dent privacy in communication between two individuals in a social media platform. Times Network spoke with eminent jurist Justice B. N. Sri Krishna, who said that the amendment, which curbs right to privacy, will be unconstitutional unless the parliament brings in a law to this effect. IT Act was intended for a different purpose. The objective of the IT Act was something else. Now, at that stage when the IT Act was passed, right to privacy had not been determined to be a fundamental right. That makes a sea change in the situation. The IT Act, whatever its vintage, today cannot stand against the fundamental right declared uh, to right to privacy which the Supreme Court has declared in Puttaswamy's case. Now, if that is so, then all the constitutional parameters have to be met with before any infringement, any curbing of the fundamental right to privacy can come about. It cannot come about by an amendment to the rules. If somebody has advised the government, I am afraid they have barked up the wrong tree.